Hello everyone, I am Dr. Omkar Sangita Dilipra Sonone, a mentor in Team AFMG and today we are elated to have with us Dr. Hanan who has recently cleared his FMG examination in his very first attempt. Not only he cleared his examination but that too with a wonderful score of 233 marks which almost seems impossible but yeah he has uh, made it in the very first attempt itself so first of all we would like to wholeheartedly congratulate dr hanan on his huge success and also convey the greetings to your family as, as well now first thing we would like to know about uh, what was your when was your graduation and from which university did you graduate hello sir first of all i would like to thank you for everything which you have done for us and oh. so I am. My name is Hanan, and uh, I am. I have graduated from uh, China Ganan Medical University, and uh, this was like uh, I, I wasn't expecting it to go this way. But uh, fortunately, things came in my way. So uh, I thank Almighty for all the things uh, we really like. I did work hard, but like uh, they are saying, like uska ha, uska, uh, uska pe hona jaye. So I felt it that way. Right. So definitely all the things have been in your favor, but uh, the most important thing which has played its role is your hard work, which has finally paid off after uh, like, uh, uh, <coughs> sorry, after a long time of almost six to eight months while you're preparing. So now I would like to ask you one, when did you start your preparations during your UG days yeah, after coming back to India? Uh, it was like sir actually i i came i came to delhi uh, in may actually like uh, we had not even graduated from a university yet. i was studying the university subjects till till june till we graduated then after the after that time i guess uh, in july uh, in july or august we joined your tnd sessions uh, in delhi only uh, the rest of thing was like uh, we had already prepared our notes um, handwritten notes i guess that works the, that's the best way to remember things True. because there there is that picture memory uh, in your handwritten notes and uh, then uh, we started uh, like uh, for, for first two three months it was like completely uh, like the whole work was done on the notes itself and then after that, uh, when uh, by we joined your TNT, we got that uh, rhythm how to study. It wasn't like like we have to do it, but this was like uh, when uh, there was a, a proper schedule, like this test will be held this week and then next week. So we prepared accordingly. Like uh, uh, it gives that pushback, like you have to complete the subject in this much days or something like that. So that really helped to pace up our revisions. I guess that, that was the main thing that helped us through this. Right. So I feel that's very important. Like a lot of times it happens uh, when you're not able, like when you are studying by yourself, a lot of time it happens, you can actually get off track. So to keep you on track, there should be something, a pre-planned schedule should be there with you. And that plays a very important and a vital role as well. So now I'd like to ask you, uh, you have mentioned a very important point about handwritten notes. So a lot of people complain that it's not written so like what is your advice to those people who are actually moving on to all the printed content so, uh, what i personally felt is like uh, it's not necessary that you make all the handwritten notes for all the subjects it's like there are small subjects like psychiatry is there anesthesia right. is there uh, there is uh, radio is there or uh, forensic is there for those subjects, I don't feel you need to write everything by your notes because uh, the notes provided by any institute, they are they are quite short for those subjects. Like for psychiatry, yeah. there are only just 14, 15 pages or something like that. But uh, but uh, for the major subjects, I guess it really helps because you can't sort out things uh, if there is, like for example, if there is uh, some particular t uh, teacher and he's giving the notes for the whole medicine. And then uh, it will cover up like 500, 600 pages. And then at the end of time, what ma uh, what mainly main thing is that uh, you have to go for the revisions. And at last time, you can't do the 500 page revision. And if you have just sorted out the data accordingly, like which topics are important and which 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 uh, the idea for which you will get uh, based on the previous year questions. If you uh, attempt those <laughs> questions, then suddenly you will get an idea which questions uh, which topics are important. And then accordingly, you just have to write down uh, those topics only. And like right. the important ones, because what you are uh, making is that you are actually creating your uh, syllabus, like your uh, data for your 
five, uh, like the last 30 days you have to revise it in that days because i guess the uh, the main part is the last uh, last two three months two three months which matters the most because we are that's where you have to pay some and if you have those old notes 500 pages it's not possible to go for that like for me i personally like my obscene notes i'm telling you personally i have written them twice first uh, during lectures i wrote my own notes and at that time i uh, i guess it was around uh, 500 uh, 550 pages something like that right. and at the end when i uh, like studied it for the first time i felt like um, no i'm not going to complete it in the first term and then uh, uh, then i uh, worked like for al- almost i guess 10 days i made my own notes and uh, at the end it was like uh, i guess 35 pages for both ops and gyne Similarly, for biochemistry, I made a 20 page, uh, 20 pages were there for my biochemistry. It's not like uh, I was uh, cutting out the content, but it's uh, something like I was uh, writing it in that small handwriting. And uh, the the lesser the pages are, the lesser the stress. I personally feel so. So I can totally relate to it because uh, that is how I usually study as well. Uh, that's important to definitely understand as you mentioned like there would be some important topics some important subjects that you need to comprehend quite well uh, you need to understand the concepts as well but once you have understood that in the initial part the second part is more important how well you can revise them and for that you need to have a concise content with you then you need to narrow down your notes agar notes nahi narrow down kar paoge, so you will be in that uh sorry vicious cycle where you are not able to revise your notes so that's a very important advice i feel uh, that that plays a very important and a major role in terms of revisions as well now i would like to ask you uh, once you are preparing by yourself so now what was that uh, like who was the reference uh, like from where did you get the reference to join the test and discussions or what was that initial motivation that uh, guided you to this uh it was actually sir, it was one of my friends the uh, home i met only in delhi like uh, i didn't give him back home uh, so uh, his name is uh, dr talib you might be aware about him so he actually uh, when he passed the exam i said i asked him like uh, what do you suggest me like i want to join some tnd so so he gave me your name so i am really thankful to him that he suggested me your name and we joined along with me my friend also joined and uh, in this journey, he has been, uh, he, his role has been uh, quite, uh, like, I can't thank him for that because uh, because of uh, because of him, uh, I remain confined to the studies and he's like, he studies much more than me. You might be aware about him, like the, the other guy who used to come with me right. for the uh, test and discussions. Uh, he also yeah, got good marks, like 200. Million. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, I must say his role, uh, you must have that good company with you. Uh, which really helps out like uh, in the morning he used to wake me up uh, he will uh, <laughs> he will kick on my back and uh, wake me up uh, similarly i will do the same to him if he sleeps something like that and company right. really matters and there are there are things which i faced in delhi i i felt so like there are many people who are being misguided like majority, what happens with the majority is that uh, they don't know how to proceed the things. Uh, we had uh, and uh, we, had our, we had our elder brother, uh, like uh, his name is uh, Dr. Mame, and he had also done uh, like uh, MBBS from China. So I guess he was our guide kind of. So he told us initially that what to do, what not to do. I met uh, and then at the end, uh, like when exam was uh, almost uh, 15 to 20 days uh, close, I met guys and they told me they have followed something like i i was following they were telling me like if you were uh, they wish if they had met me earlier they were they would have been done something more so the thing is like there is not a proper guidance things are people are following notes blindly and they don't know what to study and what not to study and uh, for them i would suggest personally consult to mr uh, dr omkar sir and he will uh, really help you out with this so that's my pleasure uh now the most important two things that you mentioned was a come good company that should be there with you throughout the thick and thin in your preparations because that's most important i feel if you have someone with you who inspires you who motivates you and who actually sits with you so that's an important thing and second that you mentioned a guide okay proper guidance is definitely required 
एंड वी नो जो कंडीशन है दिल्ली में एंड स्पेसिफिकली इन गौतम नगर वेन देर आर लॉर्ड ऑफ डिस्ट्रैक्शन देर इज लॉर्ड ऑफ मिस गाइडेंस अकरिंग एवरीवेयर Uh, that definitely is important to actually take a proper guidance from someone and at least a person that you should follow rather than going in every direction that's important now i would like to ask you uh Thank like you, you were I preparing, yeah. like people are like uh, like if uh, i am following i i just followed one person like someone was giving me suggestion i just followed that one person only right. so one more thing that is like if i am telling some uh, something good to someone and someone else is also telling something good to someone but uh, they are following me also and they are al- them also so yeah. i think they should like some everyone is giving a good suggestion that's for sure but right. i guess they perfectly follow only one person that will help True. out otherwise they pick up things other here something here something there and then it gets messed up that that truly happens over here uh, like a lot of people usually get a lot of stuff from everywhere and finally they are confused like what to follow and what not to so that's important as well now i would like to ask you uh, while as you told you first understood you comprehended all the subjects properly and then you revised it like how many revisions uh, did you do usually in the span uh, sir honestly saying i guess 5 uh, or 6 my goodness so that's but, but, but i but i was the last revisions which i uh, which i took they were like superficial revisions only right. i used to cover two three or four subjects in a day so it was like as i, I was going at that pace right. and but it's like the mind tells you you are not uh, you are not you don't remember this thing but i used to go on because i felt like you no know, you have to go on if you don't go on then you are not going to cover it and uh, moreover i made a list of all the subjects on a single page and then on the side i was like taking up the uh, subjects accordingly which i used to complete and that gave me some confidence uh, like yeah you have to complete all these subjects now you, there is no tension you can do it easily i had uh, this and this that's the, the positive stuff is that uh, majority of people uh, meet uh, the negative ones they give they tell them like mci is doing this thing mci is doing that thing i personally uh, i was i was following this for this trap initially like uh, after the exam uh, some people told me like they are uh, the mci guys they give result on the basis of uh, last year results or your name or some are telling your attendance your alphabet a, a lot of shit going on sir in the market but uh, personally i i am telling everyone don't fall for these all these steps just give your best and uh, you will do it easy right 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 so that's most important i feel because uh, a lot of people are like still in that dilemma or uh, still they are thinking that definitely nb is planning something or nmc is planning something they need to get out of this course and definitely start preparing like with all the all, all that they have and give the 100% and definitely i feel i feel after that it's uh, like possible in every way uh, yeah, i would like to revise one important thing that you said like the number of revisions are important as well like definitely we say quality of uh, revision but uh, at that point what happens usually to focus just on the quality they miss out on the number so usually a lot mm-hmm. of people are not even able to revise once or twice so that's most important that you may, uh, like you told even if you feel that you don't remember this thing is getting stored somewhere in your subconscious and you need to just go on and on to revise it multiple like, times uh, in the in the exam paper like when i was when i was uh, doing and uh, during the exam i uh, i was personally like uh, i got that i was i was initially i was feeling like i don't remember this thing but after a few seconds that picture memory came in the mind it is written on that page on that side so that memory i guess <laughs> helps the revision help that way right indeed it does because how the number of times you go through the same page like that uh, actually uh, is stored in your memory somewhere like that photographic memory is very much important that's important yes. now i would like to ask you a lot of people used to complain like in tnds as you know now uh, ki the like the <clears throat> questions are too tough for us they are too difficult for us but i used to see like at least both of you used to uh, solve it quite easily so did you got some trick or like what did you learn from the discussions and what would like you like to advise to the people uh, to tackle uh, like how to tackle these questions usually go ahead please yes sir initially uh, like when we initially joined uh, the institute we felt like uh, maybe like that, uh, we also felt the same way 
sir is giving difficult questions and uh, then when we attempt the previous year questions we felt no sir is not giving difficult questions he is giving like uh, even in the exam we when we attempt to the questions like the questions you were giving were quite easy as compared to the exam the language of the questions were quite different right. in the exam uh, uh, also when we attempted uh, there were many questions we were which were coming from the neat pg previous year questions like the my senior grade is there were two questions they were all based on the previous year so uh, i don't uh, feel anything like that uh, the questions were tough and i guess we need tough questions in order to uh, find out like in the exam you might get more tougher ones so you have to face the tougher ones then only you can uh, do the other ones sure so main thing is uh, just uh, the main thing to solve the questions i personally feel is uh, we have to go for the previous year questions and then uh, you have to um, like assess the things like where you are lacking uh for example uh, i used to uh, i i had attempt atem- uh, like uh, i had joined some question bank uh, like pre pg and i used to solve questions over there there was the, on pre pg the language was quite simple on other platforms if you do the same question the language was quite difficult so right. on one platform you might feel like it's quite easy but the same thing you were doing like you were providing us questions just it's just that we need to assess the question properly and read at least read it twice i guess personally if you are not getting the thing just read it twice you will add, somehow something you will get easy right so that's an important advice again i feel But, coming from you uh ki in case if you're not able to understand that question please read it twice and uh, if you keep uh, practicing enough number of questions uh, definitely that helps out you somewhere and uh, yeah i always say we, we had done uh, we were doing questions uh, like uh, we uh, when we joined to our tnd before that we had already completed our one revision so the main thing is first complete your one revision at least then only attempt the questions because if you do it uh, right now for example someone who is studying on the one side and doing questions on the other side he might feel like i don't know anything then right. uh, this thing is really going to mess you up yeah so just do the first revision then only attempt the questions right i feel that's important as well like uh, be sure with your content content first definitely revise your notes properly and then definitely attempt a lot of questions as well so yeah. like i would like to ask you now apart from this uh, like if you are preparing you are in a good flow but a lot of people got distracted when the exams were postponed so now that postponed man <laughs> how did you manage to manage with that stress that and your pressure and uh, what was your like what was your strategy for that postponement period please go ahead sir uh, not only every uh, not only some people i guess i was also distracted i was i was feeling like i was ready for exam now this can happen why this happened uh, and i guess almost for four or five days i didn't study at nothing like uh, we used to stay at our room and um, like just watching some uh, stuff uh, any series or something like that just to divert our minds because right. that thing was coming to mind again and again what will happen now but after that uh, like after four or five days i used to go to library even though uh, i felt like uh, i don't need to study right now there is a lot of time but we used to go to library uh, used to spend the same time which used which used to spend earlier uh, right. although we studied for four or five years in a uh, four or five hours in a day but we used to give that time in the library so that the page doesn't get messed up um and the main thing was like we had a proper schedule uh, like for last 6 months for first two months my uh, schedule was up down it was like we used to study uh, we, uh, we i mean sir we we mean that my roommate and me right so we used to uh, we used to study uh, in the uh, night time and in the day time we were sleeping so it was uh, <laughs> upside down then after that we we uh, we uh, solved this thing and uh, it takes 4 5 days to get on your time table yeah it's hard to uh, manage it for first 5 days but after once you get into that thing like you wake up woke, uh, wake up in the morning and then uh, st- we used to wake up uh, like uh, at 5 or 6 something like that and then uh, till 9 or 10 in the evening we uh, and then go back to the room uh, like uh, have dinner and all all that things um and the main thing was like uh, we had both uh, kept ourselves out from the social uh, social networks for all period True. that's the main thing i guess many people many people uh, do do uh, use it even during uh, like your exams or something like that that's a main distraction i personally feel and uh, if you have a proper time table and uh, you don't need to study for 
12 15 hours i personally never studied more than 11 hours i used to use that uh, app also that tide app uh, which is a timer thing i used to uh, uh, study for 90 minutes and then take a 10 minute break go outside the library chill till a little bit come back inside and then study for another 90 minutes i was using the 90 minutes timer and uh, after i guess in a in in a complete day i used to study uh, 9 or 10 hours for last uh, like uh, 2 3 months before that i used to study for only 6 to 8 months 6 to 8 hours so that was my uh, that was my timetable but the main thing which was uh, like i used to take weekly uh, weekly breaks every week i used to take a break and uh, my friend is kind of more stressed out he he felt he doesn't need a break so uh, i used to take a break i am kind of a chill person i don't stress myself too much and uh, then uh, what main thing was um, during the, when i used to take the break next day i completely felt so fresh and the the mind really helps you more than before some people feel, sure. feel like if they study much more and uh they uh, then they take a break everything might get distorted and so they don't take a break they continuously stress up themselves and at the end uh, it really uh, gets messed up uh, and uh, personally i would suggest everyone to study uh, for a fixed time and main thing is consistency you have to be consistent that's the main thing and many things get distracted and they mess up at the last because they give all their energy in their initial months when okay. it's actually needed the more energy at last they are already tired so they give up okay. many many people i have seen they give up in the end true so i feel you have summarized a lot of important advices in that answer and uh, i would like to highlight them as well because first important thing that you said uh, like be productive and that's what matters it does not matter at what time of the day you study usually a lot of people have this doubt i am also a night owl and i also believe like you can study at night time also just before the examination you need to reschedule your plans and most important advice i feel a lot of people would be hearing uh, hearing you out for this like they are usually used to hear from toppers that we have studied for 14 hours 16 hours 18 hours that's the usual uh, thing that they uh, say but uh, like i also personally feel that's not practically possible and even if it even if it is because as this is a marathon it is a very long journey you will get burnt out or you will get exhausted at some point so Two important things that you have said that you didn't study more than 11 hours and that's fine most important is to get quality in terms of uh, the hours of study okay it's not about the quantity usually and secondly enough breaks enough intermittent breaks are important uh, to be on the track because otherwise you'll get burnt out very early in the course as well so that's important and that's a very important advice as well now my next question to you would be uh, how many gts did you appear for how did you analyze your gts and uh, what did gts uh, like help you in so uh, i started uh, gts almost i guess three months before the exam right uh, first i completed my revision then i attended your tnd uh, when one round of your tnd was complete only after that i started gts and initially in the gts my like i attended prep letters gd for the first time it was free so uh, i got uh, something like 170 in my first gt and i felt like uh, uh, why <laughs> i got only 170 i had studied so much and then they then i asked many others and they told me you got 170 really 170 is too much like prep letters gt is too hard to, uh, like right. there are many like assertion reason questions are also there so i at that time i felt like maybe i will improve more and more and then uh, on the next gt uh, the score was 190 then i left prep letters gt because i felt like uh, the questions are a little bit too much hard they are not right. even the pg level they are much higher they are not even the assertion reason questions are not there they are giving essential reason questions Still, I got uh, the score was better, and then I left that GT. After that, I attended uh, uh, other GTs, uh, in which uh, I used to give. Uh, and one more thing, sir, I used to give GTs uh, weekly. Like uh, the the day on which uh, I had decided to take a break, I used to give GT. I was giving it, but I was giving it uh, freely uh, on a Sunday. That the day was fixed Sunday, and the timing was also fixed according to the exam timing, like in the morning and then 
uh, afternoon. So I was giving it accordingly, and uh, I almost I gave many GTS, uh, but I personally would suggest not to give too much GTS. I I used to feel like I have I am supposed to take back. I just give GT. I was giving it in that stress free mind. So right. uh, in, initially I started with one hundred seventy something. I don't remember exactly. Then it gone to like I was improving day by day. That's the main thing. And then I, it went to two hundred ten, two hundred something like that. So it was going on. So I never felt like I am going down. Even uh, even at one time I felt like the uh, the performance is going down. Uh, so um, then I asked uh, one of my friends, and he told me, "Don't worry." Uh, like uh, uh, she, uh, she she was a PG in my library. Uh, her uh, her name is uh, Rajna, Doctor Rajna. So she helped me out with this, and she told me, "Like uh, you don't need to worry about this. Uh, it ha- it happens every time. Just right. take a break." I took a break, and uh, uh, then the next test was I did much more better than that. So the main thing is this, yeah. But you should attempt, uh, you should attempt GTS and questions just because they help to uh, assess you questions in the in the final exam. They will help you a lot to do the questions at a much greater pace. Like I uh, finished my uh, first paper, I was like, uh, I uh, finished it uh, I guess twenty minutes, twenty uh, minutes earlier, just because uh, I felt community was something uh, which was not. Uh, Which I had studied, it was something unexpected. Uh, rest of paper was quite easy. In the second paper, I I finished it like forty minutes earlier. My goodness! So it's, that's important uh, that you have advised. Uh, like, give enough num- amount of GTS, and uh, apart from that, it does not matter even if you score less than some of them. Okay, that happens with everyone. Now you have heard even toppers usually uh, have. that phase when they are not uh, like their days are not good and uh, bad days come in everyone's life and that's fine so that is, that is important to be consistent with your preparations and that's uh, that definitely plays a role i would like to ask you uh, like this would this would be my second last question i would like to ask you uh, like how did image based sessions uh, and the qrs helped you in the last few days and what was your strategy in those last uh, 10 to 20 days prior to exams uh last 10 to 20 days i had personally uh, like thought about last 30 days i will do one revision in 20 days and in last 10 days i will do one more revision uh actually except for the last 3 days that the 3 the days i had left for uh, like to chill out uh, honestly i had left them for to chill out so that the stress is <laughs> for the exam so in the first uh, i had uh, like there are 19 subjects so i had i had uh, mark my schedule accordingly so i completed it in again like 15 days i guess so and then after that uh, for the next uh, 10 15 days i had uh, i have to do, i had to do one more revision so i completed that in the last 3 days they, that were left i uh, attended the image image based sessions like uh, all the images that and that were provided by afmg team so i revised uh, i uh, took them like uh, twice i revised them i was just going up down scrolling the things that's it okay. i was not going too deep and uh, in last uh, uh, for uh, 14, 14 days in last 14 days i i didn't attempt any uh, gt just because i felt if i do too much good i will feel uh, over confident <laughs> and if i do less it might uh, stress me out so i in last four days i didn't attempt any gt yeah that's so that's an important advice i feel for the last uh, few days before the examination because those are the most uh, vital in terms of your preparation i feel and uh, that you uh, like you were very good with your revisions because i feel in the last 30 days it's important to re- revise your content twice and that you did quite well uh, in a specific amount of time as well and, uh, and in last three days sir i what i did was like all the uh, like stagings i was revising only the important ones which i had marked like this one i am forgetting again and again so i was just revising the stagings i had just uh, like uh all the stagings i had wrote on a separate notebook so i was just revising. like in this uh, ta- in this uh, fmg only there was uh, questions based on uh, testicular carcinoma staging or cervical yeah. carcinoma staging so honestly i was not re- remembering the things like i have did this 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 is this, this i just uh, remembered the notebook i got that picture memory it stood in there and it was here so that thing really helped me out yeah you should revise what then think you should mark them before before like 10 10 20 days you should mark them you are forgetting this thing again and again and right. last three days you can revise that that only thing yeah sure. 
True. I feel, and that's what is called a smart work. Like uh, only the things that you feel you're forgetting, you need to revise that. And definitely, staging played a very important role in this examination, and you aced it definitely. And I feel uh, like what I'm coming across you and a similarity that I found usually uh, in like in myself and yourself is uh, most important is that attitude that you have towards the examination. First of all, if you're prepared well, you don't need to stress out much. And second of all, you need to be easy with yourself, like or be easy on yourself, because if you stress yourself too much, then definitely that is negatively going to hamper your examination somewhere. So be confident enough. And just go with that attitude that I am going to do well, whatever comes my way. So definitely that plays an important role. Now coming to the last part of our interview, I would like to ask you, what are the mistakes that you did? You would like all the upcoming aspirants to avoid. And what would be your final advice before parting to all the upcoming FMG aspirants? Yes, yeah, so. <clears throat> uh, First of all, I would uh, personally say, uh, uh, like <laughs> especially for the Delhi ones, I will say uh, kindly keep yourself safe from the mosquitoes. I because I got dengue in between, <laughs> so I I had to go back home for ten days. It's like most of people feel like uh, no, it's okay, they, uh, but it really uh, uh, it was a serious issue. I I got bleeding also, so I felt like maybe I'm gonna die. So the once I'm uh, telling you, those who are staying in Delhi, they should take care of this thing first. I felt this was one thing I I felt like it's easy. And uh, other thing is like, if you if you have enough time, uh, you can teach someone. You should teach someone. Like I I taught one of my uh, one two three uh, one, two three um the two three friends of my circle. They were lagging in biochem or some other subject. So I helped them out, and I guess that thing helped me much more than them because uh, uh, it I got uh, I got biochemistry. I was like it was on my tips. It's on my initially when I started biochemistry, honestly. I had biochemistry is the hardest subject, but right now I I can say that it's my kind of strongest subject just because of that thing I taught them. So if you have time, you can teach someone, help them out, and uh, I'm uh, like I'm really happy for uh, that. All of those friends, those whom I was teaching, they all passed the exam. So really? it is not just uh, they are like like their I their happiness and my happiness is uh, much more than theirs just because True. because I felt like I am a part of their success so I am a part of their success it really is something big for me and uh, I just I would suggest people like uh, I personally I don't know where I am lacking but uh, I would say like the things I have seen uh, with my eyes is that if uh, you have uh, a lot of people have like their partners and all the thing. Uh, but uh, personally, I would suggest like for at least for these six months, you can stop yourself from all those things, social media. And it's it's quite easy. It's not a difficult. It's just uh, like you need that personal will. If you have that will, you can do anything. Uh, stop yourself from uh, doing all this stuff for just six months. After six months, you can do anything. And uh, what uh, other thing is... Um, Regarding the future, I will say those who haven't passed, uh, don't be, don't feel like uh, it was the end. It's just the beginning. Just give your best ones. Uh, trust me. Uh, like I, I gave my best. I like I personally felt like if there was something like if I failed in this exam, what will I do? But my my thing was like I was like what else I could do. I was like, I have done all my, I have done all my best. I can't do anything more than this. But I had that deep belief in myself that I will pass for sure. Uh, initially, uh, for the initial, uh, when I came back from exam, the first thing I did was got my notebook and then just, just record all the questions. In the first, like I slept, when I came back from exam, I slept at 1, uh, 1 a.m. Just because I, I revised almost 250 questions in the first day. And second day, I was like, I don't remember anything. So just, uh, I would say everyone to have that positive notion about yourself that you can do it easily. So don't worry and uh, just give your best exit. That's true. So I feel that's most important uh, advices that we have summed up in your last answer. And uh, the most important advice that I feel that you have given is to at least uh, be away from all the distractions, whether it is social media or your better half. Okay, so it's better to at least isolate yourself somewhat in terms of your preparations. So that would yield you better results as well. 
So thank you so much, Dr. Hanan, for joining in. We congratulate you once again for your huge success. Also convey the greetings to your parents as well. And uh, we will wish you all the very best for all your future endeavors that you undertake. And we hopefully uh, will find you soon. Uh, like we will be interviewing you once again, a successful physician or a surgeon in future. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Thank you.